everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. If you are my supporter, thank you. My patrons, thank you. Those who order their Tesla using my link, thank you, thank you, thank you. And today we're going to talk about something sexy. Um, too sexy for... Anyway, so uh, Tesla Master Plan was sexy. We will create a, uh, a roadster, use the money, create the S, use the money, create the X, use the money and make an affordable Tesla Model 3 sedan that's going to be cheap and everybody's going to buy it. Well, the plan was executed beautifully, except for the Tesla Model 3s, even the one that I'm seeing are not 35. They're very expensive. 44, uh, you know, 39, 900, 60,000 depends. So the Tesla Model 3 35,000 base just came out a few months ago, months after the Tesla Model 3 uh, was starting to be sold in America and around the world, which is doing great sales. Um, and uh, basically, it was on the website for a couple minutes, then it was taken off, and then if you wanted one, you can call or go to the showroom, blah, 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 make it harder for you to get it. But if you insisted and you got it, what you got is basically a standard uh, plus uh, Model 3. Uh, which is a 240 miles range. It has the onboard map, the music streaming, the live traffic on the navigation, uh, heated seats, you know, more goodies. More goodies that you bargained for, quote unquote. Now, Tesla say, Tesla finally figured out a, um, uh, a software downgrade. Usually you get software upgrade. This is a software downgrade. And now they're gonna send it to those who bought it. Yeah, you've been, having free lunch no more for you no soup for you and you <laughs> are not going to get that notification I actually got an email you're going to get that notification and we are going to take away 10 percent of your range you're going to that 220 uh no onboard maps uh, no music streaming uh, no live traffic uh, no uh, heated seats set yourself on fire if you want <laughs> and if you want to get those back, you can go to the showroom and uh, we'll make an appointment schedule to the service center and you can pay, uh, let's say, $4,500 because that's what the plus range would cost you and then you can get it all back. So, uh, you know, obviously, Tesla just, you know, sold those standard range and with all those extras and now they're going to take it back, which is cruel. Once you grandfather those who got it and then just sell the the, the, the the rain, the standard rich. But I did some digging for you because that's what I do. I dig. Um, and uh, what I did is I looked at equivalent cars like that, not even gasoline. I like to compare apple, apple to apples. And I went to the Chevy Bolt. Why Chevy Bolt? Because it's the most popular car, uh, EV car that sold. Chevy Bolt and Volt are the most popular after Tesla. They sold over 220,000 uh, in America beside uh, what they sold around the world. So I went, I went and I can figure the Tesla, Chevy, M Tesla, a Chevy Bolt EV for a little bit over than $35,000. Uh, and there you can get uh, some kind of, uh, you know, a driver's assist. It's not, uh, it's not autopilot like Tesla. Driver's assist, you can get uh, heated seats. You can get all kinds of goodies for less than $36,000. Okay, I even went to uh, Kona EV. I went to others to see what you get for that. And I feel, I feel that Tesla is being cheap. It's being, you know, $35,000 is a lot of money. You can get, for $35,000 gasoline equivalent, you can get, uh, you know, wings and fly. Again, I'm not, I don't like to compare two different things. But what I'm saying is this, it feels to me that, uh, you know, they're being cheap. So what I think it's fair I think it's fair if you buy $35, $400 Tesla, it's fair to get heated seats. It's fair to get some kind of music. Now, because i tell you why, what else. Let's say I take my iPhone or your Android you, and you connect it to the USB and you want to use uh, Waze uh, as your navigation on the screen, like I do with my Chevy Volt, my old ancient Chevy Volt. I can do that. Uh, or I can use other apps that I have. In Tesla, you can't. You know, it's like, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. You get what you get. What you get. It's like Apple computers. That's what you get. All right? So, it's not, they're not giving it to you, and you cannot use your apps. Okay? So, 
is it fair to ask for heated seats in, in a 35,000 plus car? Yes, I think it is. Is it fair to ask for uh, uh, navigation onboard maps? Yes. Is it fair to ask for, uh, again, the range, you know, I looked, I looked at for the same price. Chevy Bolt, uh, 200 and uh, almost 40 miles. Uh, Kona EV for that same price, 260 miles almost, 258. So why nickel and dime? It's a freaking software. That's all it is. Now, the hardware in the Tesla uh, uh, Model 3 base and plus is the same. It's just, just ac accessibility. I think they're being cheap. That's what I think. Hmm? What do you think? Put your comments below. Thank you for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.